Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Cities Skylines, where we are back after a week absence in the city of... Wow, look at all that traffic. No, not the city of... Wow, look at all that traffic. The city of Westwood. We're, we're here at the uh, nice little city arch. I think it's even called city arch. Yeah, it's called city arch. Uh, so we've been doing a lot of expansion down and around this way, and things are going well. It's... It's looking good. We do have a bit of office demand, uh, a bit of commercial demand, and a bit of residential demand. I just put on the look here. Uh, not everything's quite fully upgraded yet, but that's okay. Uh, we can we can deal with that. What I want to do is real quick uh, delete that. We're gonna put it back. Don't you worry. But what I want to see is how big does that need to be? I, I want I want for now to follow the grid. So eighty two hundred. Uh, so we want to come out 8200, which is right there. And then we want to bring uh, this other collector out the same distance. And you can just run one road right on top of another. Find out how long it needs to be. Uh, 6560. As long as we bring that out at a nice 90 degree, when we come across, they will join up beautifully. I want to look here at our train. Yeah, we do have a bit of train issues here. So, not the most ideal. Uh, so, this one seems to be wider. So, 10,800 for 281.60. Interesting. Uh, so, not exactly uniform here. We can get rid of this view, by the way. Uh, 81.60 is what we want to come out. We're going to try to do at least one if not two pedestrian areas today i want to kind of start moving this direction because i want to get over here to do a nice seaside resort uh in our little bay right here i think it'll look fantastic and then as we get out closer to this direction start really switching towards our tourism i want to have a, another pedestrian area coming down here that is uh really tourist focused but for now we are going to eliminate this commercial uh we're, we're we're gonna change our minds on what we want there and get rid of all that and i think we're probably even gonna move uh some of these statues around eventually we might keep them though uh we'll just have to wait and see uh what i come up with there's there's a lot going on here with traffic and honestly most of that's because of dedicated turn lanes. I I get the argument for dedicated turn lanes, but honestly, sometimes they cause problems. Uh, and this is one of those instances. We don't have that many people going left down here. So there's really no need to have a dedicated left-hand turn lane. They're not going to really hold up too much traffic uh and effectively what we were doing was limiting this to one lane now it's it's two lane we we've got a lot better flow through here and that solved that immediately granted back there still becomes a problem and over here still becomes a problem but that's not what we're focused on today <clears throat> today we're focused on getting that button to go away and we're going to come in here with our district tool and we are gonna make a very very large district okay we're gonna start over because I colored outside the lines too many times and it bothers me when that happens we're gonna make a very large pedestrian district up through here want to be careful right here okay it's not going over the park district which I thought that it would I mean it did in some spots but that's weird I don't know. Oh, there's a park building right there. Uh, so that's nice that it wouldn't let me do that. Uh, there's a gate right there. So and I think it's our main gate. <clears throat> so that's handy that it wouldn't let me do that. So we're going to make this one right here. And then we're going to make another one right next to it. One is going to be primarily residential focused. One is going to be primarily office focused. We will have some mixed uses throughout, but that's going to be the primary focus. And there's a big districts. 
big, 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 big districts. So hopefully we're going to cram a lot of people in here. But I also want to create some nice central areas as well. You know, just make these very desirable places to live. Um, and completely free of cars. Which is going to be handy. They will, of course, have to have their own service buildings. There's just no way around that, really. So we're going to bring that in there and then go up to our bigger tool and just run that right through there. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to get rid of that and that and that. We're just going to have to have them complaining for now. And I am going to go ahead and get rid of this zoning as well. Let's uh, switch to this tool. This will make this a little quicker. There we go. Um, yeah, so for now, I think we're just going to have to lose these statues and come back to them at another time. Because I don't want them at present. So, now we need to come in and think about where we're going to have the service points. I went blank on what they were called there for a moment. And I think I just want them kind of like right off of here i think that'd be a nice place and then we can do the same thing just on the other side and hopefully fingers crossed yeah this fit nicely uh just drop these in here kind of off down that direction now we've got that and we've unlocked all of our roads this is kind of a i don't know it's not all tropical we get tropical down this way but, uh, ooh, wow, these are costing us a lot of money. But yeah, I guess the people in here real quick, that's like $13,000 that we're, uh, that we're uh, paying for. That's, that's a bit much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but, you know, we want to consider what, what roads do we want to go through here. Um, we've got our cobblestone, their sandstone. Uh, we've got bluestone. And then we've got cobblestone. And I really like, I really like the, the bluestone a lot. Uh, it's kind of my favorite. So I want to see here. Uh, do we have an actual midpoint? I'm not sure. Let me, uh, let me calculate this out real quick. So 3780 would be the middle, but I don't think, oh, we can get to a 3780. Okay. So that would be middle that way. And that just happens to hit up with that. So that's good. So we can have a nice big little bit there. And then we're going to delete that. I know we're wasting money, but now I want to see what is it this direction. And then again, grab my calculator because I can't do the maths in my head. Um, so that would be 2460 and so that's going to be right there right about where we had it so we're going to have these nice wide avenues coming through here and then this is 6120 so got a phone in my hand 3060 which is right right there that does not meet up as well with the roads but that's okay this is pedestrian area we go. So now we've got those divided into quadrants, and we can do with them what we want. Uh, which first thing we want to do is get rid of that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I just I have bad allergies today. So we've got some weird things happening here again, with things not wanting to line up properly. Like everywhere is fine except right here. Let's see if we can split that back. <clears throat> and we've got something strange happening there. Oh, I see what's going on. That wants to be a raised beast for some reason. There we go. That solved that. So that takes care of that. We've got some weirdness happening up here. And you can see it there as well. I'm going to real quick see if I can fix this. There we go. Now we've got a bit of weirdness there. 
or we, please tell me we're not going to just chase this all the way down. We're going to chase this all the way down, aren't we? Okay, it's fine. We chase it. I'm going to pause while I'm doing that, though, so we don't lose any buildings. And then we just get that weird little joint right there. I wonder if I can't come in here with move it and wiggle this road around and then put it back. No, it's still there. Oh, well, we'll just have a little tiny two-tile spot that, that doesn't work. What are you going to do? So in these center areas, I want to really think about what we have in these areas. So I would like to have, you know, some of our parks. I wish we already had the larger ones open. Um, because I think, you know, that would be something nice to have. We also don't have the large plazas yet. So we're going to go on the ends here with a couple of these. And I would like them oriented the same direction. So I need to convince it to flip around. There we go. I think those are both going the same way. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell when you look at them, isn't it? Uh, your statue's on that end. Your statue's on that end. So I need this one to flip around. If I can get it to, it can be a bit tricky to get them to flip. Um, well, now you don't have a statue. Okay, well, whatever. So I want to create a nice sight line down through here with a nice central area in the middle. And we could do that with our existing parks, I'm sure. And I'd also like to use some of these pedestrian parks. We've got the small food truck, uh, the ice cream stand. The small fountain plaza, and then we've got the statue plaza, which isn't the same size as the rest of them. And then we have these that go across the road. Uh, just two of them. <clears throat> Goodness, so hopefully I can remember to edit out all the times I clear my throat in here. So for now, what I think I'd like to do is just a couple small fountain plazas like that, and then maybe just leave it for now for when we get the flower plaza because I think it's about the same size I think uh, let's bring some water pipes into here all the way to here actually let's go here there you go. that should be a pretty straight line through there and we're going to come under here and then we're going to come down here and run right into that Cool. And then we'll run the rest of our water pipes once I see where uh, we're going to do our smaller pedestrian roads. So we, we used, which one did we use? We used bluestone. That's what I thought. So we're going to come in here to the bluestone. And we went with these that have the nice island in the middle. Uh, not really median, I guess. And I kind of like that look. Uh, I dig it. So we're going to continue our grid just straight across and then we're going to bring it down like that. Is that what I want to do there? I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see how this works out as far as spacing. So we do have a little bit of a smaller section there. So maybe instead of pouring into it off of our collector up there, we're pouring into it off of the city center here and just worry with it. So this is 2520. And I want to get a couple of blocks in here. So we're going to do this a little weird. So that's 920, that's 800. It's not too bad, it's all pedestrian. So I think I'm kind of okay with just doing it like that. And then we'll come up. And then we'll come up one more. There we go. And not like that though. Oh, no, that's okay. uh, that works out well, because that comes out almost right there by the, the arch. So that, that works out nicely. And then where these have a, a clear connection in, we'll make that clear connection. And then for here, I guess we can do that since there's not gonna be any cars. 
Yeah, there's no cars going to be going in here. Other than emergency vehicles, so I think that'll be fine. Oh, we got a lot of traffic over here. We might need to consider adding just a few more lanes here and here, but again, not the problem we're worried about today. <clears throat> this should actually come out one more, shouldn't it? Hmm. So over here, it's 440. Oh, I did go out the one more on that side. Okay. We're good. We're fine. So I'm going to get all of these streets filled in, and then I will be right back with you. And wow, that took me a whole lot longer than I planned on. I had a lot of issues where, and there's they're still there in a lot of places, where the zoning just is broken. I, I don't really know why. But I'm kind of okay with it here because I want to create, we're not going to zone anything in this area here. So let's we'll lose a little bit in that area. And then coming down through this way, I don't, we're not going to zone at all in these two areas. Uh, so everything will be kept up and away from that. But it just, I had to wind up changing the grid around and, and lots of different things and it still never really cooperated. Uh, very frustrating, but we need to get our service points back in, which there's my actual roads. So we'll drop those back in so all those guys can stop complaining. You can see where I redrew the roads several times. So let's clean that up because that looks pretty bad. So I'm just going to come through here and chop these ends off. Cause that, just, that just looks rough. I mean, it's cool that it auto paints the, the district. Uh, but at the same time, it it makes some uh, ugliness happen, and I don't want the ugliness. So I'm just going to fix it real quick here. There you go. And of course, I could have prevented that problem from the get-go, because when you're doing the roads, uh, there's an option with these roads. It's not popping up. The one. There you go. Right here, auto paint pedestrian areas, uncheck that and it won't add in areas uh, or won't add in the pedestrian area as you're going through. So that can definitely help quite a bit. So our office demand is our highest at the moment. Um, we've got some nice arches here or plazas, I should say. Um, got rid of the parks temporarily. We'll put them back. Uh, once we get some stuff going here, but I want to go ahead and start getting uh, our offices in here, but I also want to look at our services real quick uh, Just to be sure that we are servicing these areas well um, So I want to get a hospital that will kind of Carry through to both we lose a little coverage there if I put it down there if I go here Um, that right here, I think, is our better shot. And if I do it off of this collector, it changes my coverage down there. Up here is where I'm looking. Yeah, let's let's go this side. This this gets us covered nicely. So there we go. Got our hospital in. Uh, we want to look at the police coverage. And we are using these new high-capacity buildings. Because uh, why wouldn't you? I mean, to be honest... So we'll put this one off to the side. It will load off of the uh, um, pedestrian walkway, but I think it, the building fits nicer. Turn to the side. Plus, we're not loading fire trucks onto a collector. And then we need, uh, of course, police headquarters. Hopefully, it can go in about the same area. Oh, yeah, see, my, my, my grid is not quite perfect there and it doesn't want to go to this side road at all did i disable i went through and and tried yeah i disabled zoning on that road that's why um i went through and tried to clean things up as best i could not always succeeding so death care i believe is fine to operate on these pedestrian roads right yeah because the hearses can get in there so we need to just add in a bit of death care for this area. Not a lot. Don't have to completely saturate it with coverage, but I want it to be decent. And then something I've wondered and I've not tested yet 
yeah, cannot be placed on that type of road. So if I want disaster shelters in these areas, I would need to bring them in up off of these roads. And I, I do want disaster shelters. Uh, so we'll just do one each there. And we shouldn't be having trouble with electricity. There we go. We're good. We're fine. <clears throat> so as I adjust my chair and clear my throat and all of that, let's get some zoning in. Uh, let's take a look at our unemployment. It's not all that low, but we've got really high industry demand. Um, it's not coming from commercial, like no commercial in town is importing anything at all. So it almost looks like it's from a job standpoint, but our unemployment's really low. It's very peculiar, uh, to say the least, but we're going to, we're going to roll with it. Uh, one thing we are going to do though, since this is an office area, I think it would make sense to have... Uh, the food trucks in here. Let's let's do a food truck stand there, and then you know if if you're feeling a little gluttonous on your lunch break, you can go to an ice cream shop. Yes, I like that, um, and that still preserves our sight lines because they are back down through there. We will do parks and plazas and things through this area and probably create some of our own custom stuff. But we're going to we're going to try to preserve as much as as we can. We might we might zone this half of this square on both of these and leave just these 3. Um I think that would be okay. Let's go ahead and get some zoning in here and we're going to just I think we're just going to go nuts with just a ton of office in here. We will do just a little bit. Oh, before I do that, though, I want to do a couple other things, and I forgot. Um, so we do have a high-rise ban over there. I don't want a high-rise ban here, and I think the only way around that is to then come in with a nut, like a regular district. Because I believe, if I recall correctly, it's been a while since we Yeah, we've got a citywide uh, high-rise ban. It's just dumb that you have to do this. I do want to allow high rises in these pedestrian areas because we are going to use the wall to wall buildings. And why can't I apply, you know, the, the high rise ban or remove it from the pedestrian? Area? Why do I have to do this just to get policies? Seems like a bit of an oversight. I mean, I understand that pedestrian areas do have their own policies as well. But why couldn't they have just added them as like an extra little tab up here when it's inside of that? I don't really understand. Uh, and then before anything starts building, I just want to come into here and apply um, on, <clears throat> excuse me, on both of these. And now it's not going to, hmm. I guess we'll just apply it to that then. Uh, it's not gonna let me do the individual little areas anymore, but that's fine. That's 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 fine. It, it will all still get wall to wall, either way. So I do want a little commercial in these areas, but I want them to. I want this one to be primarily office. This one to be primarily residential. And then as we get down here, we'll have another one that is a bit different. Has a lot of tourist destinations in it, so we can get uh, the tourism unlocks um, right now. We're just going to go to try to get um, our commercial in our office zone landmarks. Though we're not going to put them in because they, that doesn't function as or that doesn't function as a residential building, which is dumb. It should. Uh, same for the office. They're just the tourist attractions, and I I don't know. I, I guess I see the need for tourist attractions, but at the same time, doesn't make the most sense to me. So we will go, yeah, we'll go ahead and go all the way up to there and just maintain those three squares. Some of our other stuff may wind up, the parks and things and plazas that we put in, may wind up taking up a bit more of that space. But for now, this is fine. Somehow, all of this de-zoned over here. When did that happen? That's really peculiar. So let's let that start filling in. And then over here, I want we're gonna need a bit of a buffer. 
because we've got high density commercial right here along this road. I can't just start the residential right there. Um, I could, but I'm not going to. So we're going to leave that space maybe for some offices in this residential area. But for now, we're going to come through and we do have some residential demand. We're going to just drop those in. And then I'm going to speed up time and let's see what we get. And what we have is a building fire downtown. Um, one of the things I realized that I overlooked while um, this was just running is we don't really have mass transit through here. And that's a missed opportunity. We really should have some mass transit. So we are going to correct that right now. Um, in the form of... Uh, some metro stations. I really, really dig both of the new metro stations. We're going to use this one over here towards our office area, and I want to position it off of that road right there. Um, or even maybe... Hold on, because I also want to add some bus routes. So we've got three roads there. So if I do bus lane here and bus lane or bus only road here, that would be pretty good. So yeah, let's orient it off of this road. That way we can have uh, a nice interface between between the two. So we will put it right there. Oh, and a building popped in. We're going to say sorry about your uh, office. And then we're going to come down um, a little further for the residential and drop that in down right here, I believe. Yeah. And the residential will have the parallel tracks that can go out to other areas, whereas this one has the the two tracks that, that go around. Uh, so let's get that connected. But first, let's get our bus lanes in. Uh, I need to go back to here uh, and get the Bluestone bus only lanes. And then we're just going to go right in down these middle streets. And get these upgraded. And we're just going to have a, a bus route that loops through this area just on this. It's centrally located. I mean, you'll never have to walk, what, more than three blocks? Yeah, so that's fine. Uh, and then up here, it's this street, right? Where's our metro? Is that it? Yeah. Uh, so this street here. They're a little sad about losing their trees. But they're going to have to get over it because we need bus service through here. We, we need to have mass transit. A lot of people are going to live and work here. So it needs to happen. So we're just going to do a bus loop that just literally loops around this whole area. We will, uh, you know, we may even do the compact bus station somewhere in the middle. That's not a bad idea. I kind of like that idea. I mean, we don't need it. I just, I just like it for the aesthetic. There we go. So we will start here by our metro, and then our next stop will be in the station. And then on this side, we're gonna go maybe a little denser. No, let's just go one here. That side's a lot bigger. And then we'll jump up to here by our metro. Do a stop there. Oh, hey. Hello. We're a metropolis. Neat. We can do cargo airports and regular airport. And then we're going to roughly mirror these stops. And back around. And then I want another one that goes the other way. I think it would be important for our passengers. Though this is going to get tricky having it be there. So we may have to have it just be out here. Because if we do it like that, it, it goes up and around in a very peculiar fashion. Um, I don't quite understand why it can't just make a left right there. Why can't it make a left right there? Can you only turn right going in that building? Well, we'll have to do that then. That's 
That's an ideal. What what about this building is keeping it from being able to do that? I don't really know. It's strange though. So we're already exceeding uh, our cargo traffic over here because of the commercial. Let's take a look and see how many we're actually using. And wow, uh, we haven't unlocked any new buildings to help us. Uh, yeah, we have that one. We've got a small cargo service truck. Um, looking pretty good for residential. We're getting there for office as well. Uh, so how many are you actually using? Uh, five out of five. So if we give them a few more cargo trucks, which they've stopped complaining about it, but it'll probably pop back up again. So let's give them... What does this have? Seven more cargo trucks. And it fits very nicely right next to that. The buildings tie in really well together, uh, which is nice because so do the wall-to-wall -wall buildings. A lot of repetition there in the office area, it looks like. Not, not the best look, but whatever. And then we're going to extend our commercial uh, down through here. I don't believe this commercial makes as much noise as regular high density commercial. At least I hope not. Oh, hey, look, another fire. Great. Uh, let's speed up time while this is going. And this is still saying high capacity, but it hasn't started using these yet. So I think it'll be okay once this one starts. Yeah, yeah, we're good. So yeah, we're looking pretty good. I'm just going to let this run for a few more minutes and then we will wrap up uh, once this is filled in just a little bit more. And I realized while I had this running, I never connected the metros. If we put them in, but they didn't connect them, well, let's, let's remedy that, shall we? Uh, let's go underground here and see how we want to get these connected. So for this one, we could easily just loop right there and then have this come down to these tracks. And I think that's probably our best solution. So let's bring this out to right here and something is saying no. There we go. Let's bring this out to right about the same length as that. And then we are going to need to bring this up. Um, so I guess we probably should have done that as we were building it. So let's let's fix that. Let's get that to be at the same elevation as this one, which is 12. Uh, so we'll split the difference. So it's currently at 32. Let's bring this up um, to like 20. So that'll be 12, and then it'll have to go eight more. So then let's split that. There we go. That'll be 10 and 10. That they have to change. And we're just going to do a nice little curve right here. And we're going to do a nice little curve right here coming out of the station. And then we can come up that additional incline right there. And then that's not too bad. And then here we just kind of want to get this to connect up and to over to there. So I'm going to use the freeform tool to get started. And then we'll finish it with the curved road tool. And it should make a really nice connection here for me yeah that looks fine so then we'll just grab the metro line tool drag this current stop to over to here and then put in stops here which might be a little tricky there we go and then add these stops back in here that we lost and hopefully we'll see a lot of passengers Writing that, but I think you know we're we're off to a good start. Looks like we're getting the same issue here with high cargo traffic, so we will go ahead and throw in another cargo building. We've also now got a large pedestrian area service point, so we may just switch to those entirely and get rid of the small ones. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pause it. We're gonna get rid of the small ones. And instead of having a bunch of things that are mixed use, this will give us 15 cargo and 10 garbage. I like that. There we go. To be oriented there. And now, hopefully, it's, they're going to complain for just a minute. There we go. And now they're fine again. So hopefully, these two buildings will be able to take care of the needs of each district that we have. 
But I think that's going to do it for this one. Kind of went long, and uh, my voice isn't holding up, and that's great. I was fine before I started recording, and then my allergies kicked in, and my voice decided to uh, hate me. And I do realize that I made one mistake uh, in here, and we're going to fix it real quick before we go. We just want to maintain that sight line. So this is coming out almost the fourth one over here but only three on that side that's really peculiar so we will go ahead and take out that last little bit right there and then that way we're going to maintain a sight line that way and we're going to maintain a nice sight line going up this way and I think that'll be uh, a really cool look uh, by the time all is said and done. Now we're going to get some weird shaped buildings and some weird sized buildings. We're going to have some weird gaps, but we can we can deal with all that. Those are all things that, that can be dealt with. So, uh, 15 trucks, not enough. Okay, well then we will add in just cargo service points to help that out. And that's going to wrap it up. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Until next time, that's a very busy bus stop. I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.